What's good guys, Tiger here, welcome to the channel. So the excitement is really starting to build now, as we are only a few days away from the launch of Modern Warfare. And if you have heard the news about no supply drops and loot crates, then I am sure you know that we have a lot to be excited about for this new game. Now today's video, I want to talk about the difference between slow and fast paced CODs. Now a month ago I made a video talking about short and fast time to kills. What you may think is the same thing but they are far from similar. Time to kill is purely based on how fast you can kill someone on average in a single game. As the pace of the game is focused on how the game is designed and what type of playstyle it suits. I'll give you some examples with this little chart I've made. So a fast paced game with a fast time to kill, the first game that comes into my head is Black Ops 3. When Advanced Warfare introduced Advanced Movement System with the jetpacks, it definitely bumped up the pace of how CODs were played. And Black Ops 3 had a very fast time to kill, the M8 could just melt people, it had a lot of good snipers, so a lot of people were dying very very fast in that game, it had lots of very good, very strong weapons. And because of the jetpacks you could just jump in the air and be able to see a large amount of the map so you were rarely safe, people were dying very very fast. And then if we look at a fast paced game with a slow time to kill, it is of course the current game that I'm sure a lot of you are still currently playing, what is Black Ops 4? Black Ops 4 definitely started with the slowest time to kill out of any COD we have had previously. I would say that time to kill has definitely got faster with the introduction of better weapons, with the buffing and balancing and things like that. But Black Ops 4 is definitely a fast paced game. The movement system works really really well, it's a very fluid movement system and with all of the things that you can do on the move, the game wants you to keep moving. The maps are a lot smaller as well so you can traverse the map very very fast. You have a lot of strong specialist weapons and abilities so when you've got them in your hands you definitely want to be very aggressive to try and get as many kills as possible with these powerful weapons. And then if we look at a slow paced game with a fast time to kill, the two games that come into my mind is Modern Warfare Remastered as well as COD 4 and then Call of Duty Ghosts. Both of those games I would say are very slow paced, you definitely move around the map very slowly. If you look at Modern Warfare Remastered, the movement system is very clunky, it's very slow, you can't really move around the map very fast. You don't have anything like a slide or a dolphin dive, anything like that. When you jump in the air you come crashing down, the movement definitely feels very very slow, however the time to kill is very fast. You can melt someone with a submachine gun across the map if you hit your bullets. The M16, what is probably the most popular weapon in the game, will one burst you in many situations. So the game is very slow paced, you have lots of time to think about what you're doing, however if you put a foot wrong you are going to be killed instantly. And Ghosts is very similar to that as well, I would say Ghosts is notorious for a very fast time to kill. It was a very connection based game, however those maps that they had in Ghost, in my opinion were very very good, very well designed and you really had to think about what you were doing on that map. Of course you could play very fast paced with the Vector or the MTAR when both of those weapons were the top tier weapons, but you couldn't just run out into the open and expect to melt anyone because you could just be killed instantly at any time, so your movement and positioning was very very important in that game. And then the final one, if we look at a slow paced game with a slow time to kill, at first I couldn't really think of anything, but after a while the only game that I can kind of see that fits this criteria is probably COD Mobile. Now the reason why I'd say COD Mobile is the only game that fits in this box, because it's so hard to play this game on your phone because at the moment there is no controller support, you have to be very good at the controls at the game in order to move around these maps very fast because it can be very hard to turn and aim and things like that. And I would say the time to kill definitely takes a while as well. I think it may seem very fast at times, but it really isn't because this game is just very hard to play, it's very hard to control your weapon, I'm sure we are all missing lots and lots of shots. 
so I'd definitely say COD Mobile is a slow paced game with a slow time to kill. Now the new Modern Warfare looks to me as a slow paced game with a fast time to kill. So what does this mean for the majority of us who are still playing Black Ops 4? Now we actually have two choices. See, I'm going to give you both choices. One is going to be the more popular strategy, especially at the start, as the second choice is the alternative choice that you will see a lot more confident and experienced players only pull off. So the first choice is to obviously slow your playstyle down. If you ever played the Modern Warfare beta, you will know if you just take one step into the open area of the map, you will be beamed by some campy M4 player or a sniper who has been waiting for a player like you since the game started. So you will need to play strategical and move around the map safely or command a dominant area of the map. Now the other playstyle is to play at a fast pace and you can actually play this game at a fast pace. Towards the end of the beta before everyone started playing ground war, I was max rank and score based matchmaking was definitely having some effect and putting me in games with every other level 20. And I played lots of games where you had these absolute mad lads with fully stacked MP5s just running around beaming anyone. They were playing Modern Warfare like they developed the maps themselves and they were playing so aggressive and confidently. So I have seen firsthand you can play Modern Warfare aggressive and at a fast pace. However, if you do not know what you are doing, you will get slapped by the slower paced players and you will get angry and call them shit little camper noobs. But hey, what do you expect? You are playing Modern Warfare and this is the game. Get over it. If you are going to buy Modern Warfare and play Modern Warfare just to complain about the average player in Modern Warfare, then you are walking straight into a lion's den. Or should I say a tiger den? Because don't have a go at me if I adapt my playstyle to this game and play with a little more patience and a little more strategy. Anyway guys, all I can say is watch this space because I've got videos for you what when this game drops you will not want to miss. Always remember that I love all of you guys and if any of you have any problems or issues or ideas for videos you want me to make, let me know. The best place to get hold of me is on social media, either my Twitter or Instagram, tiger underscore cod. You can see it at the bottom of the screen on my overlay. I've got lots of video ideas, but the amount of times I read my comments and you guys say something, it might not be addressed to me or you might not even be requesting a video, but sometimes you guys say something, it's probably through venting or something like that, and a little light bulb turns on in my head and I note it down with all my other video ideas and those videos can do really, really well because you guys can just say something and it will inspire me to make a video on that topic, either solving the problem that you were venting about or just discussing it in more detail so you can adapt your mindset to kind of get hold of it or something like that. So always talk to me, don't assume I'm not going to read your message or not listen to you because I need you guys way more than you need me and that is why I love all of you. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all of my latest content. But that's all from me, take care and I'll see you in the next video.